Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sergeant Johnny and today I'm gonna be showing you top 5 most realistic war games ever. Be aware this is my opinion of the list. Um, if you like it, subscribe to my channel, leave a like, comment below about what you think about my list and um, let's check it out. Prepare for full scale war with Battlefield 3, the third major evolution on the long running online battle franchise. Using the power of Frostbite 2 engine technology, Battlefield 3 delivers superior visual quality and grand sense of scale, massive destruction, dynamic audio and incredibly lifelike character animations. As bullets whiz by, walls crumble and explosions throw you to the ground, the battlefields feel more alive and interactive than ever before. In Battlefield 3, players step into the role of an elite US Marines, where they experience heart-pounding single-player missions and a competitive multiplayer action ranging across diverse locations from around the globe, including Europe, Middle East and North America. Operation Flashpoint Dragons Rising Operation Flashpoint has proven one thing, I would not last long in a modern war. Not only would I die quickly, I'd die in embarrassing ways. Nobody remembers the heroics of the soldier that stuck his head up in the midst of a hail of gunfire or the idiot that ran into an open field without checking for enemies on the perimeter. Keep your head down, keep your adrenaline in check. These are the lessons you'll have to take to heart if you want to survive on the battlefield in real life or in Operation Flashpoint. True tactical shooters like this are normally kept on PC for hardcore crowd, but Codemasters brought it to Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 as well. There isn't anything uh, like this on consoles, so don't rush out to buy this in expectation of Call of Duty style experience. One bullet is enough to end your life. One wrong step into enemy sights is all it takes for you to get taken down, as you curse your stupidity. This is a game that rewards patience, planning and steady hand over twitch reflexes. It isn't high insanity of most first person shooters, but it does offer its own brand of tensions that anybody looking for a real deal will get kick out of. It's only a lack of polish and few too many bucks that keep, that keep it from being a great game. Operation Flashpoint Red River it's a military shooter set in Tajikistan, but you know where it's really set. Red River is another one of those actively modern combat games most of the game industries seem to be obsessed right now. But importantly, it's one of you can beat by running forward and, it's, and spraying bullets everywhere. This is a game about caution and teamwork as much as it is personal accuracy. And in such melodramic ludicrous times, for shooter it's turn. Unforgiving tackle of violence is a breath of fresh air. Arma 2 Arma 2 is based on the latest generation technology, offering large scale game world, authentic and extremely detailed modern units, weapons, vehicles and environments, challenging single player and vast array of multiplayer options. The game uses the current generation of real virtuality engine and it truly looks phenomenal. The level of detail in this game, from soldiers' expressive faces to the multicolored foliage to the weathered fences, is just amazing. The fidelity of numerous vehicles and soldier models and the variety of effects from smoke to rain to lens flare will actually lure you away from the action from time to time and leave you enthralled by amount of work that it must have and take to get it all look so natural. And don't forget DayZ mod for Arma 2 Combined Operation became popular in just few months upon its release. Arma 3 I know Arma 3 is not out yet but Alpha is out and you can see what the game will look like so it's number 1. After years of intense warfare against Easter enemies Europe has become the last stand for battered NATO forces. On the verge of being driven into the sea, NATO command embarks upon most desperate measures. In hope of sizing what seems to be a well-guarded military secret, Operation Magnitude is launched. A small group of special forces and researchers are sent to a Mediterranean island deep behind enemy lines. However, 
the mission is compromised and task force destroyed, leaving Captain Scott Miller washed ashore upon the hostile island. In his effort to carry out the mission, he will face the dangers of modern warfare, an unforgiving environment, and the consequences of his own decisions. And that's my list of top 5 most realistic war games ever. Guys, if you liked it, please rate this video, leave a comment below, I would like to know what you think about it. And uh, subscribe to my channel, of course, to see more videos like this and gaming videos. And uh, that's pretty much it. Peace.